and I think it does what it's supposed to do. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm going to show you an easy way to put a lid on your USGI canteen cup. Stay tuned. Before we get started, I know a lot of people don't watch until the end of the video, so please remember to give us a thumbs up and also check out our classes. They're starting right now. It's April and we have a class that starts in a couple of weeks. Our phase one class, of course, we go all the way through phase four, which is our primitive survival and bushcraft classes. But you can find more information at www.waypointsurvival.com. Why would we need a lid on the USGI cup? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, it greatly increases boil time, uh, it reduces that significantly, helps it boil much faster. Also, uh, when you're cooking around an open fire, you tend to get embers and ashes knocked into your cup, and that's not very pleasant if you're trying to make coffee or hot chocolate or tea or cooking soup, whatever it is, so you want to keep that out. Also, when you pull it off of the fire and you want to let it cool down a little bit, you're trying to keep bugs and bees and different things from flying into your drink or your soup, flies for instance, in warmer weather, it's really great to have a lid. You can buy them, they're not terribly expensive, but I've got a really cheap way to make one and I think you'll like it. Let's get to it right now. The first thing you want to do is you want to make a cardboard cutout of this shape. And all you do is take a piece of cardboard or thick paper and trace around it and then cut it out with a pair of scissors. And you want this to be slightly smaller than this outside opening, this outside lip. Because we're not trying to make it fit over the top, we want it to fit just inside of this lip. When you get that done, you want to transfer this to a piece of aluminum. Now, I don't like to cook in aluminum, and the set that I have is stainless steel. But the lid isn't generally going to come in contact with a lot of the food, perhaps the liquid when I drink or pour, but it's not a big deal and I'm not really cooking in it. It's more or less to hold the heat in, so I don't mind using aluminum for that and it's much easier to cut and process. Now this is just a piece, a sheet, uh, as you can see, I'll give you a close up right there, see what this is made of. I just picked this up at Lowe's and it wasn't terribly expensive. Now if you don't want to use something like this and you're looking for something even cheaper, I got this, this is a thick aluminum serving tray, and I just got this for four bucks at a Salvation Army. So you can pick up stuff like this really cheap, and you can make a whole bunch of them out of something like this. But for today, we're going to use just this piece, and I'm going to use just one end, and I'm just simply going to trace all the way around this. And then we're going to cut that out with a pair of snips. All right, so we have this, it's got some sharp edges and it's not very symmetrical. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on a belt sander. You could use a Dremel tool with a grinding wheel. You could use a file if you want, but we're gonna clean up all of these edges and we're gonna test fit it on the cup to make sure that it fits properly. So after we get this cleaned off and then deburred on all the edges, what we want is we want something that's going to fit just inside the cup, just like that with a little bit of the lip left over. All right, so it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but just so it fits pretty well. So just like that. Next, we get one of these small picture hanging loops, just from a ring hanger set here. So just one of these. Now what this is, this is a piece of metal that's folded and I've already opened it up. So what you wanna do is go ahead and Open this up the rest of the way, just like this. Okay, just like that, you can see we've got a bit of a bump there. So just like that. And this is gonna be our handle. Now we find the approximate center of where we want to raise and lower our lid. And we make a couple of marks, and then we drill two holes. These are 1 8 inch. Next, we take a couple of aluminum pop rivets and we fasten it on. And just like that, we have our handle and our lid, so we can pick it up off the pot. Next, we take a little strip of the aluminum from the same piece that we cut off, and this is about two or three inches long, and we're just going to cut this in half 
this doesn't have to be perfect just kind of an approximation and what we're going to do is we're going to take this pair of needle nose pliers and we're going to start bending it just like this so you want to bend a hook onto it when you get done it's going to look like that and then we're going to see where it fits ideally you want this curve right next to it so we're going to trim this off a little bit more all right that's pretty good that's what we want that to look like now we're going to do the same thing we're going to drill two holes in here and we are going to pop rivet it onto this front section right here where this indent is i'll do that and get back with you when you get that done and put on there it should look like this so that it hooks over top of one side and you'll want to bend and adjust this so that it fits and hooks over the front like it should. We're going to do the same thing to the back. When you get it finished, it should look something like this. A little hook on each end, pop rivets on the bottom, then a nice little handle on top. And it fits on just like this so it doesn't fall down in there should have a little bit of hook on these ends so that it doesn't just pull straight up easy you can of course bend this and adjust these to your liking and there's one more thing that we have to do since I'm right-handed when I go to drink something out of this side I'm gonna want some holes here so I'm just going to make four or five small holes in a row 1 8 inch with a drill bit right there and there we go we've got my drink holes drilled in there and these are bent just enough so that there's some hook on there so that I can put this down here and you want this to catch you don't want it to come off easy and so then when I go to drink I can pour it take it to my mouth and drink and it's not going to come off it's gonna stay fairly tight what's nice about this is this is really super light it's very thin it doesn't weigh much I can easily put it at the bottom of the pouch and with everything else and not even know that it's there if these stick up a little too far for me I can take and hammer those down on the anvil but uh, they're not bothering me right now and they'll be just fine the way they are I do want to give a special shout out to Manta bushcraft blog this is where I saw this idea and I modified it a little bit for my own use but I do like it the way it is uh, you could possibly put another hook on this end if you want to make it even more secure but I like it the way it is and I think it works pretty well and it's a cheap and easy lid if you snap it on there just right it's not going to come off easy and I think it does what it's supposed to do this is James Bender for Waypoint Survival if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also make sure and check out the links in the description box below just under the more button and while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.